A new Omicron variant is raising some concern. I spoke with an ER doctor about BA2. We want to talk about this new subvariant, also nicknamed the stealth variant. What do we know about it right now? Well, I think the important distinction to be made is that this is not, BA2 is not a new variant of concern. This is essentially just Omicron, BA2. Omicron was BA1, and there's a, a bunch of different subvariants. And so it's essentially Omicron. The reason why we're talking about this now is that it's been proven to be more transmissible, more contagious than the original BA1. So that's why we're starting to see an increase in cases in Europe and other countries. I think what's happening in, in Europe is, is probably a result of a number of things. And number one, they've dropped a lot of restrictions. They're opening up. More people are mingling now than ever in the last couple of years. Vaccines are waning, which is an expected thing that although they protect against severe illness and hospitalization, they're going to leave you a little bit more open to infection, which is why we want people to get boosted in the first place to sort of re-up your protection against infection. Um, but really, this is primarily just the virus. The virus is just so contagious, so infectious, so able to get into any corner pocket that hasn't been uh, infected with COVID before. And so we're seeing like out east, New, New York and New Jersey, that BA2 now accounts for about 30 to 40 percent of the new cases. In Connecticut, it's as high as 50 percent. Um, but here in LA, if you look at the, the wastewater, the COVID wastewater levels, we're still very low. So we're not seeing uh, a surge. And then certainly if you look across the countries, even as BA2 becomes the more dominant strain, right now the overall numbers across these states are still trending down. So I think what we can expect is possibly just a slower tail on the back end of our Omicron surge. It might just be less of a steep drop off. It might plateau a little bit, might take a little bit longer to completely come down. But I don't think that we can expect the exact same thing to happen here as it did in Europe. We have different vaccines. They primarily used AstraZeneca. We primarily used Pfizer, Moderna. So there's a, it's a good reason to watch, but it doesn't necessarily mean the same thing is going to be happening here. We just have to be prepared and keep an eye on it. And I think we should just follow the CDC decision-making rules for indoor masking and see what's see what's going to happen. I mean, ultimately, it's going to be up to the county public health department to, to make their own decision. Right? And we just had this great study that just came out from the CDC last week, which basically showed that if you have three doses, if you're boosted with the mRNA vaccines, your protection against severe hospitalization is 96%. That's incredible. And that's even against Omicron. And we know that through various studies already, the vaccines are just as effective against BA2 as they were with the original BA1 Omicron um, variant. So that's really good news. Um, the thing that concerns me in Los Angeles is that those over 65 here, only 63% have gotten boosted. And we've seen what happened in Europe and the United Kingdom where they had a similar level of seniors who hadn't received their booster shot. A lot of those patients ended up in the hospital with severe COVID illness. So. This is the time we need to prepare. This is the time we should be really pushing to get our elderly and our at-risk patients um, boosted. And we'll have continuing coverage on the coronavirus pandemic. Stay with KCAL 9 News and KCAL 9.com for the latest. We're also streaming on the CBS News Los Angeles and Pluto TV apps.